I am a meta human, and this is the meta customization system. So, what would you like me to be? An orc ready for battle, or a lawless bandit from the post apocalyptic wastelands? Anything is possible. The meta customization system adds real time in engine customization to your meta human. And the major features. Hi, guys. Um, welcome to this tutorial on the meta customization system. And uh, in this video, we are going to be looking at how we can set up body customization for uh, meta customization system for our meta humans. Okay. So um, I hope you guys have already watched the overview video so that uh, you get to know everything that you need to know about the project. Um, and as we begin, I'm going to install our first meta human very, very quickly here. So um, I'm going to uh, go to the Quixel bridge plugin and uh, I'm going to go to the local uh, the local section here uh, that's this icon here I'm going to choose uh, local meta humans I have uh, already downloaded into my uh, on onto my PC I'm going to pick a female meta human and a male meta human to add here so um, I'll start with uh, the female uh, let me just find one. I'll start with this one here, Hannah. This will be my main uh, female metahuman. And uh, I'll export that very quick. I'll probably have to enable some plugins. Uh, if you don't have uh, any metahumans in your project, you're going to have to enable some plugins as well. Okay. So um, I'll choose a male metahuman now. Um, I'll go for this one here, uh, Jesse, or Brian, I'll go for Brian and export that. This will be my main male metahuman. So if you watch the overview video, uh, you will know that, uh, you need to, uh, have tall, medium weight metahumans in order to use this project with, uh, this, the outfits that are provided because they are only uh, tall medium weight meta human outfits provided here you can use other meta humans uh, but uh, the tall medium weight meta humans are the main ones I'm going to use here so yeah enable any plugins it asks you to enable and restart the editor And we'll just wait for that to uh, quickly load up. Um, I may need to compile some shaders, but I'm not really sure. Uh, I might have them already compiled. I'll just open up one of the meta humans to move, see if uh, you need to compile anything. If we do, I'll skip ahead so that we don't waste too much time. No, um, everything is, well, there's some shaders, but uh, our meta human is uh, in working order. Okay, so um, now I can begin the process of uh, adding the customization to uh, the body customization to this meta human here. Uh, if I click play, um, you can see body customization is available there, uh, facial customization is available there. If you bought the, uh, if you bought the the light version of this product, you won't get this body customization menu. Um, you need to purchase uh, the meta body tool. And if you already have the meta body tool, you will uh, just follow the link uh, in the description or actually in the comment uh, pinned uh, on this video at the top of this video. And you should follow that tutorial on how you can set up the body customization. Okay. But anyway, uh, as you can see, we've got. Uh, body customization uh, work in here. Um, this level 
I don't know if I told you guys how to open the level. Uh, it opens by default on my side. So um, this level, you'll find it in uh, the Meta Customization System, Maps, Demo Map. Okay, that's the level that we're on now. All right. So for your project, it won't go to open automatically. Obviously, it's not set as the starter level, but uh, you can get to it from over here. Okay, so now um, we're going to add that customization to our MetaHuman. Let's go to the Meta Body Tool folder. Let's go to the Animations folder and uh, let's uh, let's click on Animation Blueprints, a filter. Okay, if you can't see this filter, right click uh, anywhere in this area. Okay, uh, if you right click inside the folder, you won't get any filters, but uh, if you if you have no filters, you might not know where to click. So let's just uh, disable all our filters. Um, yeah, let's just disable all the filters so that uh, in case you don't know how to get that filter, I'll show you uh, right next to the search bar. Just click in any empty space and then turn and then go to the animation section and turn on the animation blueprint filter so that you can see all the animation blueprints. Okay, and just highlight while you're in the Meta Body Tool folder in the Animations folder, highlight all the animation blueprints you see here. Uh, right click on them and uh, go to uh, Assign Skeleton. Previously, we used the Retarget Animation Assets uh, uh, option, but this time we're just going to say Assign Skeleton because uh, this doesn't have any animations. So uh, we don't really need to uh, retarget anything. We're just going to assign it to the MetaHuman skeleton. Okay. Um, but before we do that, actually, let's just make a backup. Okay. Let's make a new folder. Um, let's call it MetaHumans. Not really a backup. Let's just make a separate folder for our MetaHuman animation blueprints. Okay. So again, go back to the animations folder. Uh, you can put this anywhere you want. I've put it under the animations folder. But you can put it anywhere you want. You can even put it in your MetaHuman folder if you like. Okay. So anyway, uh, since the filter is on, we are able to see everything. Uh, let's highlight everything. And uh, let's just drag and drop into the MetaHumans folder we just created. And say copy here. Okay. So that we have separate copies for our MetaHuman and we have our original animation blueprints there. Okay. So um, I'll... I'll disable that filter and this MetaHumans folder I created. Just open that up and I know that this is everything. Okay, so I'll save all that. This is everything we copied. Highlight everything. Right click on it and uh, click on Assign Skeleton. And search. Okay, in the search bar type MetaHuman Base Skeleton. Base. Uh, just leave a space bar there. If you type just MetaHuman Base, you can click on the MetaHuman Base base Skeleton there. Uh, make sure it's highlighted. Um, there is no issues with the bones. If there were any issues, you would have seen them in here. Uh, any missing bones. Uh, so everything is okay. Just click on Accept. Now all of these animation blueprints belong to our MetaHuman now. Okay. So press uh, File, Save All. And uh, let's just open up Anim BP Body Tool. Okay, all the rest of these are child uh, animation blueprints. Uh, these are if you want to use uh, specific blueprints on specific slots. That's a subject for another day. We'll talk about it. But mainly it's for uh, uh, if you want to have a different customization for a different meta human in the same same scene. Okay, but we'll talk about this later on. Let's open up the Anim BP Body Tool now. Okay, and uh, you can see our meta human is looking kind of strange there. Uh, don't worry about how it's looking. That just tells us that it's working. Okay, uh, because this is not running in real time, so uh, that's that's the reason why it looks weird. It's not picking up all the save save information yet. Okay, because this blueprint runs through from the information that we're saving of our customization. Okay, but uh, anyway, let's uh, proceed. Let's open up the. Hana MetaHuman that we added to our project. Okay, um, your MetaHuman might be named something else. Mine is named Hana. Okay, so uh, select the body. 
Okay, this is the fastest way to find the body because we need to add the animation blueprint to the body. Okay, so select the body in the details panel. Okay, uh, if you're somewhere else over here, just make sure you click on the details panel. You might be in the defaults menu or something like that, but make sure you're on the details menu. And under skeletal mesh asset, let's click on this button here. Okay, browse to F tone arrow body in content browser. Okay. Uh, we can make this window, uh, we can uh, just unmaximize it and click on that button so that we can see what we're searching for. Once you click there, you'll be taken to this folder over here and you can open up the body mesh. Okay, once you've got that open, um, move from the skeleton tree to the asset details. Under the asset details, click on search and type post process or just post. You you'll get uh, the post-process animation blueprint and uh, post-process animation LOD threshold. So we're only concentrating on this one here, okay? So uh, we're going to replace this, but before we re replace this, we, we, we just want to open it up, first of all, and grab some things from it, okay? This is the original uh, post-process animation blueprint for this uh, for this body. Uh, it's the same for all these body types, for all metahumans, okay? So click on that, okay? Uh, it's found under common, female, tall, normal weight, body, okay. Okay, so open that up. And uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, we want to open up our uh, meta, uh, our meta body tool. So We'll go back to the customization folder, um, the material and customization system folder. We'll open up the body tool again, animations, meta humans, mess. open this. And wanna, we want to move some, some things from, we want to move some things from the animation blueprint we just opened up to the Adam BP meta. Meta body tool, okay. Um, so uh, first of all, uh, in F tone arrow and in BP, uh, go to the animation graph and copy everything that you see here, except for output pose and input pose. Uh, everything in between, copy it. And just right click and copy. And uh, switch over to Anim BP Body Tool and go to the animation graph and uh, paste what you just copied in between default pose and input pose. Okay, so grab default pose, um, bring it over here, okay, next to thigh size. And grab this one, this uh, comment with the input pose inside it. And just make some room to paste what we copied. So now right click and type paste or press control V, whatever you prefer. Click on paste here. Put this, these nodes in between. Connect input pose to control ring source and connect a final pose driver connect it to the default pose and we're done setting all that up. The reason why I'm putting this here is because we want to be able to use the control ring for the metahuman together with our uh, body customization. If you don't do this, you will not be able to use the control ring for uh, the sequencer or anything else, okay, because it won't have the control ring information. But once you add this, all the control rig information will be there, okay. So now we can close F tall and arrow and MVP. And with Anim BP body tool selected, uh, come back to the post process Anim BP under the F to narrow body, and click on the use selected asset from constant browser part of it, and save. So now the the body customization has been applied to your meta humans body. Next thing we want to do is click on um, BP meta styler. Okay, and replace female metahuman 
with this. So I'll use the uh, um, go to the meta human, okay, and that's under the meta humans folder, um, meta humans folder, the main meta humans folder. Open up your meta humans folder. Uh, mine is Hannah BP. Uh, yours is probably something else. Uh, choose your meta humans blueprint, okay, and so with meta styler selected, um, that's this one here, and this one in the in the outliner. Uh, with it selected under the details panel, scroll down to um, female meta human and choose use selected asset from content browser, and save that. And now, if you click play, your meta human will be loaded with customization enabled. And that's it. You've got uh, your meta human, your female meta human's body customization uh, ready to work. And uh, for the next stage, we are going to add customization to the same body customization to the male meta human. This will be much, much faster because we've already set up the main blueprint. So go to the root folder of your meta humans. Okay. Choose your male meta human, the folder for your male meta human. That's Brian in my case. Open that up. Open up your, your male meta humans blueprint and uh, find the body. Same way we did with the female. Let's jump to the viewport, click on the body or choose it from the list of components and search for the skeletal mesh assist. Okay, so click on the search button there. Open up the body. Uh, type post. And in this case, we won't need to do any of the other work we did. We just need to ass assign it. So we'll click on this. And uh, if you browse all the way to, to the top, since it's in alphabetical order, unless you have some other animation blueprints, uh, it should be the top one. Okay, anim BP body tool. Okay, just find that. Click on it. And we've got customization applied to the male meta human's body now. Um, let's switch over to the male meta human's blueprint. Okay, open up the blueprint. Click on Finding Content Browser. Okay, from up here, so that we have it selected in our content browser. And with the meta BP meta styler selected, okay, BP meta styler, we add uh, Brian to male meta human. Okay, so click there and save and press play. Um, you won't see Brian immediately because we haven't finished setting this up, but he is now the selected male meta human. Okay, we can choose male here, although it won't work properly yet. But if we choose male, um, Brian should show up. Okay, in this particular case, he won't show up. Um, our original dummy character is the one showing up, so we're going to have to do one more thing. Um, just right click on the same blueprint, uh, the meta styler, click on edit in, uh, or click on edit BP meta styler. You can also click on it from here. Just click there. And uh, under the components that we have here, um, we're looking for one particular component. We're just going to search for it because there's a lot of components here. Type male metahuman. We see female metahuman and male metahuman here. So uh, choose male metahuman. Okay. Um, just try and click on it properly. Mine was trying to rename it. Okay, if you click on it, uh, you see under the detail pa details panels, uh, there is male metahuman default here set it to brian okay or whatever your metahuman's name is choose that and click on use selected asset from content browser and you should get brian now uh, let's set up the female in advance as well click on female metahuman uh, find hannah or whatever your female metahuman is called mine is hannah Click on Hannah there, and I will click on that button. Okay. I save all that. Control Shift S is the shortcut to save. So now, if you click play, we should get Brian in our level as well. Okay. 
So Brian is now our male meta human. I had already chosen male here, so that's why Brian is loaded uh, as the default. If I click on female, it will bring up the female meta human. Okay, but as you can see, there are two meta humans now. Okay, so this happens because we haven't finished setting everything up. We need to set up the meta humans to actually delete the male or delete the female when we choose a button. So, but we'll do that in another stage. Okay, for now, if you don't want to have two bodies, you have to select maybe the female or the male and then uh, stop the game and then click on play again and it will just be one. Okay. So for now, that's the only way we can have a single meta human. We have to stop and play. But when, once we're done setting it up, we won't be getting this result anymore. We'll be getting either just a male or just a female. But for now, you just stop and press play and uh, you should get just one character. So for the male, um, body customization is also enabled since we've applied the blueprint. Um, and yes, this is how you can uh, add uh, a character custom, uh, a body customization to uh, your meta human uh, facial customization, and as we can tell, is not working yet. Uh, we're going to uh, do that on a uh, separate stage, uh, but we can customize our male meta human, and we can customize our female meta human now. And uh, this, that's the entire process. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, and. Uh, Tune in for the next one.